Oh, the lighting! The lighting is go. G Please stop playing with them. Welcome back to Nini's Planet. How are you guys doing? What's Gucci? What's the lady? What's Poppington? What's good? How y'all doing? All that other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to be attempting to make a Sims TikTok. If you don't know, I do have a TikTok. The name is on the screen right now. And one of my videos on TikTok is a Sim doing like a popular TikTok dance. That is what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be a tutorial because I might skip some things. I might speed up some things just to let y'all see the process of how it works. But if you guys want in-depth tutorials, I will leave links to some videos that helped me learn how to do this in the description box down below so you guys can know how to do it yourselves i don't know i might struggle a little bit because it's gonna take me a while and it's just a long process okay so i just decided to record it and y'all watch my struggle okay. first off you need a sim or however many sims you want but this is a sim that i uh made a long time ago it is this sim right here that i made a long ass time ago and I just decided to, you know, give her a little bit of spice, give her a little bit of oomph, you know, because I definitely make my sims a lot more different now. You need a sim, and what we're going to do is we're going to, yep, we're going to go ahead and put her in game. It doesn't matter what season you choose, and it does not matter where you put her. I'm going to put her on an empty lot. Okay, so, uh, why do, why? Just why? What, what is the point? Like, I put you in a bomb outfit. Stay in that bomb outfit. We're in game and, you know, she's on a, her own home lot and everything of that sort. That is all that matters, okay? You don't need to do anything else physically in game. Um, but, yeah, so what we're going to do now is... Oh, my God, all my mods. <laughs> what we're going to do now is save and go to the main menu. Alright, so now that we're at the main menu, we're going to go to load game. And this is where it starts to get a little more complicated. So, in order to even do the next step, you need to obviously have a sim. You need to have the sim be on their own home lot so you can generate a saved game. So, once you generate a saved game and you click load game, you're going to hover over this this is where obviously you can duplicate your save files and all the other stuff but we're not going to click it as you can see it has like a bunch of words and all the other stuff copy a save file path to clipboard what we're looking at what we need to know is where it says slot underscore autumn zeros the last two like letters and numbers are what we need so right here it says c7 that is what is important. Just like if I was to make a thumbnail, my Blender thumbnails, I would do the same thing. C6, you know, the Walkers Generation LP, AD. That's really the part that you need, okay? So C7 is what you need to remember in order to move on to the next step. So now let's get out of game and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we're on our desktop, you need to download a software called The Sims for Sim Ripper, okay? You can get it off of Mod The Sims. It is free and all the other stuff. What I'm just going to do is, as I just said, you know, the last two letters and numbers, that is something that you need to remember because we're going to bring up that save file. And this is how you get your Sims from in game into blender in order to make them look like extra realistic or just like 10 times better like hello like all right so c7 and we're gonna hit this first one we're not gonna hit version zero version one none of that this one so now that that is taking place as you can see all these names are popped up and shit we don't know none of these motherfuckers okay so we're going to filter out what we don't need so she's not an animal she's not a male she's not a toddler child a teen she is a young adult she's not an adult and she's not an elder so now that we've done that you can also filter it out by first and last name too um her name is london so where's her name right here 
So we're gonna click her name and this is gonna say working. Depending on the kind of computer that you have, this can take a long time time before i upgraded my pc this would take about 10 minutes no 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 that's exaggerating this would take about like seven ish minutes seven to ten minutes with this pc that i have now it only takes about one to three minutes it all depends on what kind of computer you're working with the specs but yeah you're gonna let this work it's magic don't panic if you know it goes white like this it's doing its thing um you'll know it worked when the sim pops up so i'm gonna be right back okay so the sim is here and everything of that sort i usually just turn them around make sure everything looks good because sometimes cc some cc doesn't like transfer into blender well so like Sometimes you just got to zoom in, zoom out, turn them around, whatever the case may be, just to be on the safe side. You don't want to do all that work and then don't look at the sim, take them in Blender and then your sim looks a hot ass mess. Like everything over here is good and you're going to click DAE and you're going to want to save this file somewhere safe, okay? Because you're going to need it in order to go to the next step far as Blender. Okay, so now it's saving and then once it says like, once nothing is here no more, that means it's done saving. You can exit out and then we're going to go into Blender. Okay, so now we're in Blender and I'm in Blender 3.2. I don't know if this is the latest version. Is this the latest version? I don't I don't know, okay, but I'm in the latest version that I got downloaded, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna go to file and import Colada or Colada.dae. So that is what we just saved in Sim Ripper. And I'm just going to pull up the sim. This is what it is going to look like do not be afraid do not be alarmed okay this is normal she's in like a clay formation right now there's three different kinds of settings this is like but no this is solid but i mean i was close solid clay same damn difference obviously there's a big ass cube that she's in we're going to come over here this is where all Everything that you see in this 3D viewpoint is all listed over here. Okay, so you got the cube, you got the camera here. This is how I position my cameras for like my thumbnails and stuff. Lighting and obviously rig is the sim. So now the sim look like this and up here, these are the viewpoints. Okay, this is the clay mode or solid mode, material preview. This is not an accurate representation of the sim okay just that's all i can really say about that and this is the 3d rendered viewpoint okay so this is what you will see like in your pictures um this is how the sim will look in its 3d form so what i usually like to do i like to just edit the lighting a little bit i like to bring the lighting in front because i need to see so we're gonna bring this down and stuff and as you can see nothing changed because we're in a different viewpoint but if i go to the rendered viewpoint obviously it's bright as shit so we're gonna have to bring this back a lot or you don't even have to bring it back you can turn the brightness down like you don't even have to do all that but if you want to just move it backwards it's just in case you don't know how to work all of this it is perfectly fine but yeah as you guys can see the sim looks very crazy like look at the lashes like the hair is kind of like crazy looking like we we gotta we gotta fix this up okay like look at the ends girl the ends girl the ends let me get into a good viewpoint there we go okay so now I am going to just bring my cursor over here and I'm just going to drag this child. Uh, come on, come on. Yes, we're going to drag this. And as you can see, there are two windows now. I like to use two windows because it's just easier to see things. So now I'm going to come over here and change what's on this window. I'm going to go to Shader Editor. And this is where we're going to fix up this sim, okay? Because she looks a little crazy. So I'm going to fast forward this because this is a lot to explain. And girl, I don't have time, okay? Like I said, I will drop tutorials in the description box, but I'm going to speed this up because too much, <laughs> okay?
All right, so now that the sim is like good to go, she looks good now. This is what she looks like and everything. Her hair is fixed. She does look a little different from the sims, but obviously this is Blender, so everything is going to look 10 times like more interesting oh the animation okay so i am pledged to fia sims on patreon and she makes amazing animations specifically tiktok animations i thought why not do a video like this i feel like this would be very cute to do so we're gonna be doing this animation right here uh with the little unfinished song by what is that jagged edge i think <laughs> that is the animation that we're going to be doing so we're going to go into non-linear animation this is where the magic happens i i'm so sorry y'all i skipped a step i skipped a step see this is why this is not a tutorial because i'm always skipping steps and shit it's been so long since i've done this so you gotta like cut me some of slack okay so what i missed this is fine this could stay here and everything but we're going to open up a uh, sims 4 studio so now that we have Sims 4 Studio open, we're going to open my projects and we're going to open up the animation basically. So here's the package and we're going to go to clips and we're going to export and I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now because we, we this is really quick. Okay, now that we have it as a blend file, we're going to append it and we're going to bring it in to Blender. So I'm moving to that. So I just clicked it, right? And now it doesn't bring up all of this stuff. Okay. So action, which is like movements, poses. I don't really know too much about all of this. I only use action and object. Object is usually for when you're bringing in sims or literal objects. So we're going to do action and we're going to click this and append. Now the next thing that we are going to do is get a close up on this sim. Over here to the right, as you can see under rig, there is this thing called pose we're going to click this and then up top here where it says object mode we're going to go to pose mode and then all these little black dots disappeared on my good sis face so now we're going to just click one of them it don't really matter which one it is and you see it turned like this teal color once that turns teal you're going to hit I on your keyboard location rotation and scale that's what you're going to click and then this just popped up over here i can't explain all this because it ain't no tutorial i don't really understand what all this is doing but it's just like it's putting the pose in like a section so that way it'll play and you can see it you know happen over here you click this to push down the action and then this is where the pose or animation will go well what i'm about to do now is bring the pose into blender so you usually have to delete this so we're going to right click this and delete strips then we're going to go to add add action strip and then this is the pose and then yeah so okay this is where i fucked up at one time okay so as you can see it started off like this right so i'm gonna play this animation for y'all so y'all can see what's going on so i'm gonna play it and i want y'all to see if y'all notice something okay y'all see it just reset it right this was girl when I tell you I went through hell just to figure out something that could have been fixed in 2.5 seconds. As you can see, this long orange line is the animation. And this light gray area over here is the area where the animation is playing. And it stops here at 250. So that is why the animation resets back to zero. What you have to do... <laughs> where does this end at, child? I'm going to say 690. So we're going to hit 690 over here at the stop clock. Now it should play the whole entire animation. So let's let's try it. All right. So it played the entire animation. 
And that is what we want. Okay, we want the entire thing. We don't want nothing cut off. We don't want none of that. Okay. So now that we have this and everything is set up, what we're going to do now is save this. Save it wherever you know you can find it again, please. Okay. And what I'm about to do is I'm about to go and find a simple background or scene. I'm going to import this sim along with the animation into the scene. And that is where the rendering will start. Now with scenes, you can find a lot of your Blender scenes on Tumblr. I found every single one of these scenes from Tumblr. Okay. But yeah, you can definitely find all of your Tumblr scenes, your really nice Tumblr scenes uh, on, not Tumblr scenes, I keep saying Tumblr, your really nice Blender scenes on Tumblr. And majority of them are usually free, but there was some of these that I did pledge to people for because they're just that good and then I might have needed it for a specific reason regardless. Yeah, majority of them are free so you really don't have to worry about paying for too much of anything. I actually might end up using this background because it kind of goes with her outfit, does it not? Like the beige, the white, I mean the blue is very like out there but it just adds a little umph. Yeah, so now that this is saved, I'm going to minimize this. If your computer can't handle it, you can exit out. Your, you know, it's already saved. And now that we have this scene on deck. So what I'm about to do now is hit a pin. Like I said, this links Blender files to your scene, whatever you have going on at the current moment. I'm finna TikTok. And this is where the object part comes in. Like I said, I only use action and I only use object. Okay, so you're going to hit object. And then you're going to hit London Rose, which is the name, and then Rig. You don't need these three because the scenes usually come with these. So you don't need none of that. So you just need the rig and like clicking, make sure you're clicking on the name at the same time. So shift click. Okay. Now you're going to hit append and there she is in the scene. Her outfit is just really like going with the scene and the blue is just so, it's just this, that pop of color. Like I love it. Now this is where the magic happens and this is also where your computer like the strength of your PC will come into play. Right here where it says scene this little one right here it says cycles all you're worried about is EV and cycles okay. Obviously we were in the second viewpoint this whole time we never actually went into the rendered viewpoint just to see how it looks okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Eevee first because Eevee is less strenuous, if that makes sense. So we're going to hit Eevee and then go to the rendered view. And this is what uh, this view will look like. Let me hit play. Oh, that lighting. That lighting is kind of horrible. What? That's that. Now I kind of want to see what cycles look like. Oh, the lighting! The lighting is go, girl. Please stop playing with them. So let's see, play. See what this look like. Oh girl, oh girl. It's cycles trying to catch up with it. So yes, yeah, cycles is way more strenuous on your PC. You can render in Eevee, but I just prefer cycles. Cycles just look so much better. It does take a little longer, but fuck it. Okay, we ball. So now what I'm going to do, I am actually going to change the camera resolution for it to fit TikTok's resolutions. 1080 by 1920. And so where's the camera? The camera, let's angle this camera, shall we? So you hit zero to, uh, zo to basically go into camera mode. And wherever your mouse is at, so if you hit zero over here, it's going to go into camera mode. If you hit zero over here, it's going to go into camera mode, okay? But let's go into camera mode and let's angle this out. Okay, so I think I have the perfect camera angle. Honestly, it's not going to get no better than this because Sims is just going to move and do what they do. 
even though you can do keynotes and stuff um that's too complicated i don't feel like confusing y'all tonight so yeah now that we have our perfect little camera angle so let me do cycles and this is what it's going to look like this lighting is beautiful so all that's left to do really you guys is render this animation and this will more than likely take forever i'm not even gonna sit here and sugarcoat this it's gonna take a while i'm probably just gonna come back when the animation is rendered so you guys could see the whole thing in its glory that'll be the end of the video so i'm gonna be back when it is finished okay you guys so the animation or yeah the animation is finished and this is what it looks like So yeah, that is basically the end of this video. Let me know if y'all enjoy like content like this. I think the next type of video that I really want, that I would like to do, recording how to make CC, but I don't know, that's if y'all want it. I don't, I'm not sure yet. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on my post notifications so that way you won't miss a single episode, not, oh my god, episode, a single video in the near future. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. The full TikTok with the music will be listed in the description box down below for you guys' convenience. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.